All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design, learn more about CSS pseudo selectors by building a balance sheet. Step 38. So the last of type pseudo selector does the exact opposite. It targets the last element that matches the selector. So we're going to create an H1 flex span last of type selector to target the last span in our flex container. And then we're going to give it a font size property set to 1.2M to make it look like a header. Okay. So I think we're just going to come up here and take this right here. Copy that. Paste it. Change this to last. Change this to 1.2. And now that's a little bit bigger. Looks good. Let's check it. All right, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 39, and we'll see you next time.